Every now and then you get an invention that comes along that is just so crazy it might just work. And in that I'm referencing the new Kama C5 Direct Drive Wheel Prototype. Now Kama sent this to me to test and also to share with you guys and so far it's been pretty impressive. Now the headline figures is that this is a 5 Nm direct drive wheel with a difference. As you can see there's no direct drive wheelbase. Well, there is a wheelbase, it's just integrated into the wheel. Now, conventional direct drive wheels have a big chunky wheelbase and that drives the wheel. But Camus has done away with that, taking inspiration from robotics and drones by making the motor around the outside in the wheelbase itself. Now they say that this means that it can actually be a bit more powerful because there's less inertia, meaning there's less weight to move and therefore you can have quicker responding wheels. Now, the other interesting thing about this is who Camus is taking aim at. Now you'd think that they're just trying to corner the entry level direct drive wheel market, but no, they're wanting to take on this thing. A Logitech G920 or G29, these are the entry level staple, the creme de la creme of entry level wheels. Will Camus be able to do this? Well, they are suggesting that they want to enter a sub 300 US dollar price for one of these bad boys, which if they can actually pull off, I think will be quite impressive. So first impression, so the Camus wheel has got a carbon fiber faceplate, which looks real to me. It's got 20 buttons finished in aluminium and three rotary encoders. They have a pleasing feel. The button are okay but for the price what can you expect now you've got an LED shift light on the top and you've also got an LED display which displays your speed which it grabs from the in-game telemetry the wheel itself is a 280 millimeter diameter wheel and it's finished in this kind of faux pseudo lever with a stripe at 12 o'clock the lever itself feels pretty good and this wheel is really really light. We've also got these two paddle shifters on the back which are absolutely minuscule. As you can see they are really tiny but they do have a pleasing tactile feel um, but they are really small which I suspect is to do with the fact that this wheel is integrated with the wheelbase. On the back you've got a power button, you've got a socket for your fan, your USB and your DC input. Now the interesting thing about this is it does have active cooling in a sort of interesting mechanism. You get a fan that's attached to the mounting mechanism and that blows cool air into the back of this you can hear the fan and uh, it's not particularly loud if you've got headphones on you won't notice it but if you're playing on the wheel um, with just speakers at the moment the fan is relatively loud after a good deal of play now the keen eyed among you would have noticed the very obvious playstation buttons the x the square the circle and the triangle now cameras aren't telling me that this is going to be available for console it's going to be on pc when it comes out initially but if they do manage to get this console ready then i think it's probably going to sell like hotcakes the camera software is pretty good in that it lets you modify lots of different parameters and change the way your wheel feels now this is just a quick review so i won't be covering every detail of the software but it's pretty good there's also a mobile app that you can use it's available on apple and Android. Anyway, let's go for a quick drive. Before we get the dough, if you want to win one of your very own Kama C5 direct drive wheelbases, there is a competition. Open the description down below, click the link and enter to win one of three free Kama C5 direct drive wheelbases. The draw will close in the middle of May Good luck. The Camus mounts really well to the next level racing FGT Elite I've got and actually sits a nice profile. Now, the one thing I didn't realize when you have a wheelbase like this is that there's pretty much nothing behind it. So if you wanted to, you could get your screen real close to increase your FOV and your immersion, obviously. I think this thing looks pretty good. Yes, it is a little bit weird looking because it's a newfangled device, but sat on the rig, it doesn't look that out of place. One issue I have noticed so far is that the way that the rig is mounted on here means that this rotating bit is perilously close to the front of this. Um, and it also means that there isn't that much space for my fingers and knuckles. So I've been mindful not to get them trapped because I don't think I want to get my fingers squashed by a direct drive wheel. Now let's go for a drive. I'm going to choose a relaxing stroll in an F1 car, a Baffert. And the question is, is this better than a G29? Because ultimately at the price point that they're willing to sell this thing for, that's all they need to prove. But then we'll think about all the other stuff related to direct drive wheels as well. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do one good lap of Mountain Panorama in Australia, my favorite track and one of the best tracks in the world in a relatively challenging car. So this will really challenge this wheel to do the best it can. Now, the first thing you notice is the shift lights. The shift lights are pretty cool. They go from green to orange to red to indicate when you should upshift. Um, they certainly add a degree of immersion to the experience. You've also got 
these numbers here, which are actually your um, your speed, which is really awesome to have a speedo um, in front of you. And that just, again, helps to increase your realism. Now, the buttons on this wheel are all aluminium, um, apart from the rotary encoders. And they feel pretty good. I've mapped them to be ABS and traction control. Oh, just hit the wall there by accident. ABS and traction control. Um, and they're all good to hand. Now, you know what? This wheel is giving me enough information to be able to hustle this thing around. Meaning it's giving me the basic stuff pretty well. So the weighting up of the front wheels to tell you when you've got grip, it getting light again when you're losing grip on the front wheels. It's giving me the different textures as you go over different parts of the road. If I just go onto the grass here, oh, that feels different. Oh, that does not feel nice. Let's get away from the grass. And we're going down the main straight or the, the big curve. I can't remember the actual name of it at Bathurst, but oh, what a fun time to be had. So yes, this thing actually responds really quickly. If I just go light on the steering wheel, you can see just there how it flicks back. So it's got ample power. Does it feel like a five Newton meter wheel to me? Yes, it does. I have it turned down when I'm racing with the F1 car for obvious reason. Don't want my hand to get ripped off, but it feels like ample power indeed. This thing actually feels reasonably good. So yeah, as I said, this is a prototype. So there are a few bugs in it. I've had to dial in my own settings to make it a bit better. But I think with time and with testing, if this thing actually does okay, I think Hamas will be onto a good one. When I'm not driving F1 cars at Bathurst, you can find me drifting occasionally, and this wheel is actually pretty good to drift with. Now, when you're drifting, you need a wheel that has relatively decent power and good rotational force, which this wheel has in droves. It feels really good, and even someone like me, a drifting noob, can link a few corners. I've also tried this with iRacing and Assetto Corsa Competizione, and it works pretty well, although I did have to tweak the settings a lot out of the box. But as I said, this is a prototype, and hopefully these things will be improved by the time it's released. In conclusion, so far this wheel has actually been surprising. It feels good in the hand, it's quick to respond, it gives you all the important details when you're driving with it, and although it is quite a radically different design, I don't think it looks that bad. In person, I think it looks a lot better than on the pictures that you see. And actually, for something that you can actually literally throw in your suitcase and take around with you, I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, it remains to be seen what this evolves into. And as I said, Camus is working hard on making this thing as good as possible. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. Join the Discord. You can ask me questions on there regarding this wheel. Until next time, see you later.